In the following past paper question, a uh, question reads that nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to produce ammonia. So this is a reaction of the Haber process where nitrogen and hydrogen are reacting and producing two moles of ammonia gas and it is a reversible reaction. Uh, the question states that a mixture of two moles of nitrogen and six moles of hydrogen and 2.4 moles of ammonia is allowed to reach equilibrium in a sealed vessel of volume 1 dm cube under certain conditions. And it was found that 2.32 moles of nitrogen were present in the equilibrium mixture. So I'm going to uh, uh, write this information down, write down the reaction again. So it's N2 plus 3 H2 and they're producing in the reversible reaction, they're producing two moles of ammonia gas. And the initial moles that are provided is you're given two moles of nitrogen. So, so initially at the very beginning before the reaction had started, uh, they were adding 2 moles of N2 and 6 moles of H2 and 2.4 moles of ammonia are added in a sealed vessel. So 2.4 moles of ammonia are added. Now these are your initial moles which means that uh, once they are added, uh, the forward and the backward reaction would, st would start taking place. If more forward reaction occurs, then the amount of moles of ammonia are going to increase and the amount of moles of the reactants, nitrogen and hydrogen, they're going to decrease. Vice versa, if the equilibrium shifts to the left and more backward reaction occurs, then the amount of moles of reactants would increase and the amount of moles of uh, the product would be lesser. So uh, now at equilibrium, it is said that it was found that 2.32 moles of nitrogen were present in the equilibrium mixture once equilibrium has been reached. So once an equilibrium has been set up, so you have 2.32 moles of nitrogen. Now what that basically means is that uh, you have now, uh, you can look at the difference initially you had 2 moles of nitrogen and once equilibrium has been reached, 2.32 uh, moles of nitrogen are present which means that uh, the equilibrium was set up uh, and a little bit more of backward reaction occurred and the amount of moles of N2 actually increased in the equilibrium mixture. So 2 moles and the final equilibrium moles are 2.32 which means that if you take the difference that means you got 0 0.32 moles extra have been made. So if 0 0.32 moles of nitrogen have been made uh, one mole of nitrogen, if you want to make one mole of nitrogen, you, you need three moles, uh, three moles of hydrogen are also going to be produ produced. So it's one ratio of three. So if one is produced, three H2 are produced. So if you have 0 0.32 moles of N2 being produced, then the amount of moles of H2 that would be produced would be 0 0.32 multiplied by three according to the ratio given in the equation. So Initially, you had six moles of uh, hydrogen in the equilibrium uh, in the container. Now, 0 0.32 times three moles extra have been made, which would mean that if you total the new moles are going to be, they're going to come out to be uh, six plus 0 0.32 into three would be 6.96 moles of H2. So at equilibrium, you're going to have 6.96 moles of H2. Similarly, if one nitrogen is uh, produced, two ammonia actually react to produce one nitrogen. So it's two ratio one and two NST are going to get consumed. They're going to get used up to make uh, one nitrogen. So if 0.32 moles uh, of nitrogen are being produced, extra are being produced, that would indicate that 0.32 3, 2 times 2 according to the ratios would be consumed. So 0 0.32 times 2 moles of ammonia are going to get used up. So initially you had 2.4 moles. Now the moles are going to decrease by 0 0.32 times 2. And I'm going to use my calculator to solve, uh, to find the moles of NST that are remaining in the mixture. And the answer is, uh, that I'm getting is 1.76 moles of ammonia. So uh, initially 2.4 moles of NH3 and 0.32 times 2 moles have been consumed which means that only 1.76 moles are left at equilibrium. So these are your equilibrium moles. Now you've found the equilibrium moles. Now to uh, the next step involves uh, finding the value of Kc. We need to find, figure out the value of Kc. One thing we need to do is we need to find uh, the concentration of the reactants and the products at equilibrium. The, 
the volume of the container is given as one decimeter cube, which means that concentration would be uh, moles divided by the volume, which is one decimeter cube. So it's going to remain exactly the same. So this is your concentration at equilibrium of the reactants and the products. And I'm going to now write the write the expression for Kc in the case for, for this particular equation. It's going to be Kc would be equal to it's going to be uh, products which is NH3, the concentration of NH3, but it's going to be squared because the coefficient in the equation is 2 divided by the concentration of the reactants N2, the concentration of N2 and the concentration of H2 which is going to be cubed. So I'm going, to, I'm going to put in the values now. So it's going to be ammonia is uh, 1.76 and that would be squared divided by N2 is 2.32 and H2 is 6.96 and it's going to be cubed because the coefficient in the equation is 3. And I'm going to look for the answer now and see which uh, which KC expression matches this and it's going to be the first one. If you look at option A, option A exactly matches with our, with our expression. So A is the correct option for this question.